Well, good morning from Abbey Courtyard. Um, I've come into the city centre early this morning. I'm doing an interview with Stephen Clues, who's the manager of the Roman Baths and the Pump Room, <laughs> and who is retiring at the end of the year. Um, I've no idea how long Stephen's been in his job, but we'll find out as soon as I talk to him. Uh, while I'm here with the Abbey behind me, um, something I've suggested in the past and something that some of you have suggested too is that next year what a good idea it would be to have a sort of buskers blessing day um, a service where buskers are invited into the abbey um, to be blessed uh, to to have a Christian service but also to take part in a sort of musical concert um, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them are really, really accomplished mus um, musicians and singers. And I think it would make a lovely annual event. The other thing, cycling along uh, Great Pulteney Street, um, that's the way I get around town. Um, how bad the road surface is, it's one thing being in a car with four wheels. Uh, you try cycling with two wheels across some of the surfaces of the city and of course the other thing is the fountain in Laura Place. Um, I'm one person who's campaigned for a long time to get the fountain repaired. Uh, the big issue with it is vehicles keep driving into it and knocking stone from it and it's very costly to repair. Why don't they put some sort of bollard system around it uh, to stop vehicles hitting it? There's plenty of room there. There's a big enough turning circle for cars, for vehicles to get around without hitting it. And when the fountain was first installed um, in Victorian times, it certainly had um, a fencing system around it. And of course, in those days, all you were worried about was um, bolting horses and carriages. Um, I don't know what you think. Let me know. Anyway, enough for now. It's uh, getting on for 10 o'clock and time for me to go around and see if Stephen's ready for a chat. Uh, whatever you're doing this Thursday, have a great day.